all right guys what is going on i am excited it has been almost exactly a week since the last time i was able to get the kayak out the weather's been pretty nasty here in pensacola i um, been having a lot of wind a lot of rain but it looks like we've got a little bit of an open window today that weather kind of pushed off so we're gonna get the kayaks out we're gonna hit the bridge pilings um, shoot for some sheep's head some black drum maybe even some redfish maybe some other species as well who knows let's get out there and see what we can do today probably about a third of the way uh, down the bridge here. We're gonna start the day out with one of these big, beautiful fiddler crabs here. Um, I've got a three quarter ounce for to prey sheep's head jig on, 20 pound four carbon leader, and 30 pound power pro braid. So we've got a pretty hefty incoming tide right now. Um, it's dragging this three quarter ounce, 20 to 30 feet out in front of us before it finally hits bottom. So I'm gonna back off the piling a little bit here and drop it down. And that way, by the time it gets to the bottom, it should be right next to uh, this piling here. And hopefully that's where those fish are hanging out. Oh, there we go. So that's a snag. Ah, man, we're gonna start the day off with losing a jig already. That's not fun. It's gonna be my personal best piece of rebar. <laughs> Sick. Awesome. <laughs> Man, come on. All right, starting the day off with the broken rod. It's only gonna get better from here, right? Let's hope so. All right, there we go. Two little fiddler crabs on that sheep's head jig. Let's get back into those pilings and see if we can get hooked up on something to start this day off right. There we go. What do we got here? A little sheep sheep. <laughs> he was only about six feet down tucked right on the base of that piling so maybe that's where we're gonna be finding him today man i don't know that's pretty cool though pretty cool for sheep of the day sweet finally uh got hooked up on a fish um not too big i am gonna keep this one i'm probably only gonna keep two of these guys today um we'll throw the rest back but i'm stoked that we at least got something after breaking a rod to uh, start the morning off that's never a good feeling so yeah, awesome uh, rebound. Let's see if we can keep it going. I'm gonna bleed this guy out real quick. Go right in behind the uh, pectoral fin on either side. Typically what I like to do is uh, throw him in the net real fast once he starts bleeding and just kind of bleed him out in the water next to the boat for a second before I put him in the bag. That way the bag doesn't get all nasty right off the bat. Just kind of tuck that net right into the convenient little spot that Old Town has put there for you. Awesome, man. Cool. We do a little bit of exploring. We're getting pin fished all over the place back there. Oh, big ol' whoa, what is going on right there? Back it up, beep, 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 beep. Look at that. What is happening below us right now? Look at all that. That's That's gotta be a school of redfish down there. All right, there's a good one. Oh, man, we lost him. I saw color too. He was right on the surface, that sucks. All right, fast forwarding a little bit. Um, it's been probably about an hour and a half, two hours since we uh, last hooked up on a fish. We've got three crabs left. We still have the option of using oysters but we're gonna try the crabs out until they're gone and then we'll make the switch. This piling right here, um, I marked a whole bunch of fish on it as I was going past. Um, I dropped an oyster down, started getting pin fished. So we're gonna drop a crab down there. Oh yeah, whole bunch of big marks. Those are definitely sheep's head. So we're gonna drop a crab down. Um, pin fish tend to hit those a lot less. So hopefully that's gonna be the case here and we can hook up on one of those many, many sheep's head that are down there right nothing 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 big fat zero 
There's tons of them down there. I can see them on the down imaging and they're just everywhere, but they're not hitting right now. So we're gonna try the two crab trick, which is uh, how we caught that first one today. It was actually on two crab on a single hook. That usually works fairly well compared to just a singular crab. All right, there's one. Dropped right down to the bottom and instantly got hooked up. I think we got a decent sheep here. <laughs> Or a tiny sheep. Just a little guy. We're gonna let this one go. Little baby sheep's head. Smallest one I've ever caught, I think. But it's been about two hours since we caught a fish. So that was a welcome little surprise. See you later. And we are down to one last little fiddler crab here. You don't. Oh, that's a decent one. Get in my net. Finally, man. Decent keeper. All right, awesome. Another keeper sheeper, guys. I was going for two today. Um, stoked I was able to make that happen. I started the morning off breaking that rod. Um, I, was, I was pretty upset about that. Um, so, you know, had we not caught anything, it definitely would have sucked going through all of that trouble and losing a rod. Um, but luckily, we made it worth it. We got two sheep's head to take home. Straight in the bag. Awesome. Alrighty, guys. So that was the last crab. We're gonna switch over to oysters. We've got some here. I'm gonna break them up. Um, but I actually have something really cool. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. So this is from the Mossy Head Bait Company, which is a local company here in Northwest Florida. And they sent this to me um, just as kind of a free sample. Super cool guy, really appreciate it. Um, it is an injector that you put the oysters inside and then you can actually inject it into these mesh bags that are closed at the bottom wrap the top off, put it on your hook, and then when you drop it down, the pinfish have a tougher time destroying it. So we're gonna crush some of these oysters up, um, get it in the injector, fill some of these bags, and then we're gonna start dropping those down. It looks like we've got quite a bit of activity below us right now. And hopefully we can continue catching fish on those since we're out of crabs now. And you just put these shucked oysters in here, put the plunger back in, and then you can take one of these bags, stick the injector in it, and then you can kind of just force that oyster into the bag, just like that. And then we should be able to just kind of hook both top corners and twist it shut. And then I'm gonna wrap it up and around and hook it through the bottom as well. Got a couple decent sized marks here on the fish finder. Whoa, <laughs> what in the? No, man. Okay. All right. Running my mouth over here. Okay. Let's try this again, shall we? There he is. Yeah, baby. That was sick. Oh, this is a decent one. Real decent one. All right. What do we got? Oh, that's oh, that's a nice sheep's head, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Get back over here. Nope. Get back over here. Get back over here. Whoa, that's a nice sheep's head, man. Oh, the net's hung up. No. No. Got him. Dude, that is a tanker sheep's head. What? Oh, that was so sick. <laughs> Dude, that was cool. Man, I wish I had the front camera going. I was trying to dig in my pocket and get it, but there we go. <laughs> Dude, that was so cool. Drop down, I was talking to the camera 
digging in my pocket trying to get the remote for that camera and uh, we got hit luckily because we've got the uh, the mossy head mesh bag on there he didn't strip the oyster so i was able to immediately drop back down and we got him again dude that was so freaking cool this might be a, a pb sheep's head dude pb is 23 and three quarters this might be a 24 dude oh my god dude look at that slab sheep's head that is so sick oh my goodness i cannot believe all right don't do nothing crazy dude i gotta at least get a measurement on you before you dip out <laughs> oh he's not gonna be 24 23 and uh let's see 23 and a quarter just about it's like 23 and an eighth dude that is so cool oh my goodness dude look at that sheep's head that is so sick 23 and one eighth of an inch that is a big sheep's head he's not quite a trophy 24 inch is considered a trophy but he is close all right so we're gonna put this guy back i'm pretty big on uh putting the big guys back in the water so they can go repopulate and all that fun stuff there he goes man dude that was awesome man i am so pumped right now um i didn't really know what to expect it seemed like the bite was kind of starting to die off a little bit so i was getting a little bit bummed out um but we were going past that piling i saw the mark on the fish finder and uh i was like yeah We'll drop, we'll see what happens, and I'm so stoked that I did, man. Also, I want to say thank you so much to uh, Mossy Head Bait Company for sending me this free sample of your bait injector kit. Um, that's what that sheep's head was caught on, 23 and 1 8 inch sheep's head on the uh, mesh bags that you guys sent me. So that is awesome. Thank you guys so much. I will definitely be buying more product from you guys when these mesh bags run out, and I highly recommend that all of you viewers go check out mossy head bait company um, check out their products awesome stuff they are located here in florida so supporting local it doesn't get better than that guys so let's get back on that bridge and see if we can get some more fish dude that was so cool i just want to point out to you guys too while we're on the way back over to the piling here that uh that mesh bag with the oyster stayed on the hook we didn't even lose any of the oyster out of it so that's pretty sick man um catch multiple fish on the same oyster that's one of the biggest problems with uh fishing with oysters is they just don't stay on the hook but uh mossy head bait company has figured out a pretty ingenious solution <gasps> okay all good i thought the barb went in oh my goodness dude holy crap i didn't even know it was there i was still dropping Sweet. Dude, that was awesome. Right on the drop too, only like eight feet down. I had no idea that he was even there. There he goes. Cool. Now we're getting somewhere. We got him. Ooh, that's another big one. Oh, jeez. Oh, buddy. In there. <laughs> Dude, that might be the same one. That looks like that same 23 and an eighth that we caught earlier. It might be the same one. He might have found his way back over to this piling. That'd be crazy. Hold on, buddy. Right, there we go on the mossy head bait company mesh bag kit we still have the oyster to use it again that's pretty sick let's get the bump board out i want to find out if this is the same fish it really looks like the same fish so if he comes out to 23 and an eighth i'm gonna put the footage side by side and see if uh see if it's the same one let's find out put the nose on the bumper there 
22 and a half. Yeah, so not the same fish, 22 and a half, but another awesome sheep's head, man. That is so sick. It looks like we finally found where the big sheep's head are hanging out out here today. They're much further down the bridge than I've ever fished before. I've never really thought to come down here because we've always done so well down on the other end, but dude, it looks like it's paying off. That is so cool. Okay, there is a ridiculous amount of sheep's head on this piling right now. I'm looking at the finder. There are just tons of them. There's a huge mark on the bottom. That's probably a black drum or a redfish or something. I literally can just visually see schools of these things like five feet below the boat. And I am out of oysters now. So we're gonna book it back down to uh, where we were fishing earlier. While we're down there, we're gonna gather some more oysters too. And hopefully when we get back to this piling here, they're all still gonna be on here because this is insane, dude. There are so many sheep's head. back at the piling it looks like there are in fact fish down there still that's a good sign Kind of a surprise one. I wasn't really expecting uh, anything to be down there. I just kind of dropped and uh, got a nice little sheep set. So that's pretty sick, man. Looks like we might have some sheep on this piling here. Fish finders lit up pretty good. That's a drum. Jesus. That's got to be a drum. <laughs> we are around so much structure to be fighting a drum right now. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, that's a nice little redfish, dude. That might actually be slot. Heck yeah. Sick, man. That might actually be a slot redfish, dude. I have not had a chance to try redfish since I moved down here to Florida because every single one that I catch is way too big. This one might actually be there. It's under 27. I think we're gonna take this one home and finally give it a try. So let's uh, get the bump board out. I'm gonna get this guy unhooked and hopefully he's gonna be a slot size fish. Let's see if this, oh no! <laughs> Dang, dude. I am almost positive that that redfish was gonna be slot size. I cannot believe that just happened. Well, at least we caught it, dude. That was cool. I wasn't expecting to um, get a redfish on the oyster bags. That's always a pretty uh, pleasant surprise. So, hey, at least we're catching fish, right? It doesn't really get much better than that. All right, guys, it's starting to get pretty late. The sun is just about touching the horizon now, so it's gonna be getting dark here real fast. So I'm starting to head back to the boat launch now. Um, I want to get my fish filleted and get all my stuff packed up before it gets totally dark. Um, I am gonna be looking at the down imaging though on the way back as we cruise past these pilings. If I see something that looks good, I am gonna drop some oysters on it. So if we hook up on anything else, I will show you guys. And if we don't, I will see you guys when we get back to the boat launch. We'll cut these fish up real quick and then uh, close out the video. All right, so I was cruising past this piling here and the fish finder is just lit up with fish. It looks like there's actually quite a bit of fish down there, only at about eight to 12 feet 
below, so I'm gonna drop this down real quick. See what happens. There's a sheep. There we go. Got him. Right, awesome. Well, I was getting ready to head back to the launch. We only made it about five pilings since I last talked to you guys, but it looks like we might have found a piling that is worth fishing for a minute here, so. All right, awesome. Little sunset sheep's head. Send him back. See if we can catch another one. Sick, man. All right, I guess we're on a little sunset sheep's head bite now, huh? This is a pretty decent one. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep a third one or not. I think I'm going to though. This is a pretty good sized little sheep here. Got him. All right, another sunset sheep's head. Get that guy out in the net here. Alrighty guys, well I think that's gonna just about do it for this episode. Um, I burned all the rest of the usable daylight that I should have been heading back to the boat launch, um, catching those last couple of sheep's heads. So I was gonna show you guys on this video how to fillet a sheep's head, but since we're not gonna have enough light to do that, you guys will just have to wait around for the next video for that one. So until then guys, thank you all so much for coming back, supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me that so many of you guys um, enjoy watching my videos. Um, you know, a lot of you guys have been sending me messages that they help you out, um, catch more fish. That's awesome, guys. I'm so stoked to hear that. And I hope that I can keep making these videos for you guys and hopefully get better and better. Uh, this is what I love to do. I love coming out here, spending time on the kayak, catching fish, and filming videos for you guys to enjoy. So thank you all so much. Um, if you want to support the channel just a little bit more and you want to get yourself one of these super comfortable CKW Outdoor hoodies or t-shirts, I would really appreciate it. I'll link my Etsy shop down in the description. But if not, thank you guys so much for just coming along and watching my videos and uh, providing me some kind of company on these adventures. So until next time, guys, I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Thank you guys so much.